What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and we're going to have some fun today. I'm going to throw down some numbers, well, off of a tape measure to give you guys an idea of the results that you may get when doing a suspension package like we did on this little 24-foot Jayco Greyhawk. Dude, this thing is awesome. I think I say that about them all. I think I just I just love these things with WeldTech Design suspension on it. Let me show you what we did. All right, guys, so before we jump into this awesome 24 foot Jayco Greyhawk, I'm going to ask for a favor, and that is to smash that subscribe button or at least do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. And hey, comment on it. Tell me what you think of this kit. Would you do it or would you go bigger? So what we did on this is our two inch adventure kit. So let's talk about that and show you the components involved in it, as well as uh, some before measurements and after measurements. This has the old school headlights. So that means that this is going to be pre 2008. So 1992 to 2007. Now what isn't that old style anymore is the sway bar. We've upgraded the sway bar to run a 2023 sway bar on the front of it. So you're not gonna have those annoying pins that tear up bushings that go into your I-beams. Now they're going to be on the links like you would find on a 2023 model. Now, of course, you know, we want additional height or ground clearance under this. So we've added a larger coil spring to the front of it. We've also added our Fox shocks to the front of it. The big difference between this kit, this is our getaway, between that, an adventure or an off-grid kit, is the getaway kit is only going to have the modified radius arms. We first did this on my parents' RV way back when. If you didn't see that video, I'll throw up a card and you can check that out. So this is going to have our modified radius arms. And gosh, guys, that makes me remember another thing is we've started something new called WTDU. That's our Weld Tech Designs University where we're throwing down a ton of knowledge and educating you in depth even more on all of these components. So if you want to learn more about the importance a radius arm makes on an E-series chassis, I definitely would encourage you to check out that video. So we've also modified the beams in the front of that and that's giving us our two inch suspension kit. So originally this came in and we measured it right here and we were coming in at 33 inches and now you can see we're at 35 and a quarter. So we netted about two and a quarter inches of additional ground clearance in there. This getaway kit is 100% bolt on. It does not require the radius arms to be welded on. That is a big, big plus in this very easy to install yourself in your driveway. All right, so as we climb underneath this thing, it doesn't have the ground clearance that I'm used to on these bigger kits. This does have the steering stabilizer still in it. This is the Fox steering stabilizer. Now it has the links on here, not the pins going into the beam. So it allows it to more movement, more articulation. All of these components really make a big difference on your RV. I tell you that this is the way that they should come is uh, with a getaway kit on it. All right, so now we're moving on to the back of this. We're gonna show you the important thing that we did back here and really it's going to be two key things the biggest thing that we can do to these rvs is put a set of springs in it built to the weight of your actual rv so in there you can see that we've done our progressive leaf springs and that's going to be key all of that lift is going to be built into the spring it's also going to give you a lot better ride it's also going to help reduce sway so there's no need to run an aftermarket sway bar in the front or in the rear. What these things are all going to do is save you money if you do it right the first time. That's my encouragement to you guys. The last thing that we've done in the rear of this is we've added our Fox shocks to control that ride as well and just awesomeness. So before we started on this, this was coming in at a whopping 32 inches and now we come back here and we're sitting at 36 inches. So this is sitting four inches higher in the rear. Typically, we say that this is a two inch kit because it's two inches more 
than it would have been originally delivered from the manufacturer or what the manufactured spring arc was. So some of you may say, well, yeah, but you got four inches of lift out of the back of that. Well, yes, because the spring could have been sagging. This coach is older. So there's a lot of variables going on there, right? The big thing is, is as we move to the back of this, this is a shorter coach. You can see that your tank isn't going to drag a ton of clearance where your spare tire is underneath there as well, because there's even more tanks, more piping, and even a hitch. You don't want all of these things dragging, potentially creating more damage that gets even more expensive. So this thing's fun, but I really want to go for a drive. I don't know, we'll see if we can get our permission slip signed, guys. I would stumbled onto your, your site. Even just leaving here, like feeling this dip. Yeah, so you couldn't do that before. There's no way, there's no way. So the big thing is gonna be the return back to center. So we're gonna have some fun and you can feel this, just go through wow. the dip, wow. but then you're not getting that rocking <laughs> no, you don't back get that and wallowing, forth. That wallowing yes, kind of stuff. Yes, it's very yeah. controlled. So that's why we always say it's just about putting the confidence you know, back into your driving because you yeah. feel like, so even on this, we're gonna do a quick right turn, not slowing. Oh, wow, <laughs> shoot. And now you really have a small RV and it's like mine where I feel like, man, you can just like. <laughs> yeah, look at him, get out of my way. I'm, gonna be a, real, I'm a real threat now. <laughs> you know, but that's where it's like, yeah, it's, that's awesome. it's, it's kind of wild just, Wow. Even the big thing on this is, you know, for example, you're at a higher speed and you do have to make, you know, like a quick maneuver, but yeah. you can see that like, even after it does it, it's not, it comes right it's back. not continuing. Yeah, right. it comes Those right back. On this. Yeah. And now with the sway bar upgrade on there, essentially this would be a 2023 all year suspension on this. Nice. Cause you have the new sway bar, now with all the new radius arms, right. because this does have the new style radius arm, which underneath is all Dude. 2023. I see that quite often when people do like the airbags, the Coney shocks, the heavy duty sway bars. Oh my gosh, it rides better. And it probably does to an extent. Not like not this though. Like not for the dollar you spent, okay. like that much better. I think it's that money placebo thing where if you spend money on it, you you think it's great because you spent the money because right, you're not right. going to spend the money on it and be like dude it sucked <laughs> yeah yeah you know yeah yeah you i can't mean admit that i really didn't need that i just wanted to get something yeah and cooler. i spent <laughs> the money on it and it wasn't uh, any better so we're going to jump on the freeway here it's natural people want to do the 10 and 2 and really try to drive their coach with our setup it should pretty much drive itself i'm just going to help guide it there it is, we're doing 75. Wow. One. I mean, you can see how straight we're going. No hands, I mean, we're, this is. Man. Well, there it is. I always love taking customers for a ride. What did you think? Oh, it's awesome, man. I ain't kidding you, I'm happy with it. I recommend it to anybody that's thinking about it, do it now. Get in here, get your appointment in there. I guess I'm gonna have waiting. to pay him for this, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, this is not a paid yeah. commercial or advertisement. <laughs> no, but no, I mean, no, I love taking no. you guys for rides. If you want to even go for a ride, if you're on the fence, like come down, I will take you for a ride because if it's not everything that you thought it was going to be, then I'm okay with you not buying it and you and I can just remain friends, you know? Yeah, I mean, true, I guess true. you get to have your keys back, you know, so <laughs> yeah. he can go no, and have it's fun. Worth it. It's money well spent, I ain't kidding you. I, so, I well, I really appreciate that. Thank all you right. so much. Okay, so that's all I got for this video. So this is awesome. This is the getaway kit, two inches on a O2 RV. It's just weird. That's a crazy coincidence. That's all I got. See you guys later. <laughs>